Welcome to Deep Thought. Travel to change your energy. Yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm back. Back in the saddle after uh, visiting sunny San Diego. And one of the things I get from traveling, and it's more than just a vacation, but just changing my energy. And the thing is, you don't have to, like, really go far. You Sometimes you can get on a subway, a bus, and just go to a different area of your city and hang out. And I want to uh, shout out uh, one of my supporters, uh, Gavin St. Clair, for suggesting this. Because this is something he'll do, just travel to a different area just to soak in the energy of it. The feeling of it, because a lot of times when we get caught up into a certain consciousness, that's because we're in a certain environment. Like if you're in an environment where all you hear all the time are sirens or there's like a lot of violence, you got to be vigilant against violence or something like that. Or you see in constant poverty, that's going to mess with your head. That is going to mess with your head. Like one thing I noted while I was out in San Diego, just the freedom people had while they were out on the beach. And these, you could tell these weren't necessarily just people on vacation. These were people just hanging out. Right. Like I mentioned on my other channel about running into this older dude. Looked like he's a banker, but he was a surfer. I mean, he had a conservative haircut, everything. Right. But he had his wetsuit on, had his board, and it's a it's a big it's a difference in mindset. But I mean, you don't necessarily have to go to some beach uh, city or something like that. You know, it might be just taking a walk through the high rent district where you're at, or you know, maybe driving through a nice neighborhood or something like that, right? Wait a minute, had to do something real quick. You know, you just want to do it because a lot of times when you, there's a lot of people out here, they really don't travel too far from where they actually live. I mean, there's actually people, if they don't have to, they, they'll they stay within their neighborhood for the most part unless they go visit a relative or something. And even then, it's not much of a change a lot of times because very few people have relatives who are in a totally different socioeconomic uh, place or they live someplace just so different from where they used to that it's a big change. And that used to actually, in a black community, that used to actually be uh, more of a tradition. Like, uh, you, like if you talk to some elders, especially if they lived in the north, in, in, in a northern urban area, and their children started to get in trouble or something, they would send them down south to the country because they had a sense that they needed a change of scenery just to save their lives. You know, they change of energy. Sometimes you need to be in it. I remember when I was young, um, you know, my grandmother's sister had a beach home, right? And we would just go down there. And trust me, and that was on a weekly basis, Right. You go down there and I mean, it was it was the type of home somebody could live in year round. It was a type of home that somebody could live in year round. And, you know, we go down there and chill. We would go down there and chill. But then you get energized, you come into something else. And also, you know, just seeing what else is out there, seeing a different perspective, see how people carry themselves. Because so many people, they get stuck because they don't see anything better. It's like with that uh, whole Pookie and Ray Ray argument. A lot of guys are just in an environment because this is what they're going to see. But then if you change the environment and you see something else, that gives you a great perspective. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes you got to do that. Like I said, you don't, have, you don't have to get on an airplane and do that. That helps. Even going to a different city, you get a perspective. I remember when I uh, went to Puerto Rico a couple times. I got a got a real appreciation for stuff because one of the things that struck me, you know, not just the warmth or, like, the beauty of the people there, but just appreciating what I had. You know, I'm going in there, you know, I'm going, if anybody's been to Puerto Rico, you know, you got, like, middle-class homes that are damn near locked up, gated and stuff. 
you know, went to visit a buddy of mine down there and, you know, middle class home and, you know, the home was encased. And, you know, that 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 wasn't so much as changing energy. Right. Because, you know, I mean, it's just the bars. Anybody's been down there. They know that when I say bars, like bars on the homes, windows, uh, you pretty much cut. It's that bad. It can be that bad. I remember visiting my friend down there and her place. It was like going into a prison and stuff. So many you had to like get through the gate, get through a second gate, had to have a key for the elevator. But that gave me a perspective of just appreciating where I'm at. It really did. And, you know, it changed my energy in other ways. But sometimes you need that just to understand it. Sometimes a person... Uh, who might be in a more influent area, They maybe they need to go through maybe a poor area and stuff, you know, not with a lot of money, though. But just to understand stuff, just to appreciate it. And then, you know, of course, like I was saying the other hand, if you in a poor area, if you listening and, you know, you're all tough, you know, take a trip to the high, high end district. You know, if you can book a vacation. Depending on where you go, you can you can fly. Shoot, you can fly someplace uh, relatively cheap. You know, take a train somewhere. Just go for a day, right? Just go for a day or something, just to see something else, just to see something new, as they say, right? But change it, and it should be something that you do constantly. It's something you can do constantly, because once you get stuck in a certain energy, that's a certain consciousness that affects you. You know, and like I said, there's some people, they've gone years, really, being in the same energy. They might travel every now and then, but a lot of times if, you know, within a family, they travel into some place where, you know, they visit in similar people in a similar energy. But just change it up. See what's out there. You know, if you can travel, like every man should really have... Uh, Every man should try to have a passport, and that for sex, sex tourism. But just, just to see, you know, don't, don't go overseas just for some uh, sex. You know, just to see what's up, just to get out of it. I knew this uh, guy way back in the day, uh, this brother. He said, I remember what he said. He said, you know, sometimes I, I, he just traveled to Africa on a regular basis. He said sometimes he just needed to be in a situation where he saw all black people. You know? He needed that for his energy. So, anyway, that's it. And I'm back. But really think about that. Really think about that. Because sometimes what people need, because I know sometimes people get in a rut in everything. People get in a rut, and sometimes if they really get into the metaphysical, they want to do all these rituals and do all this stuff. I'm like, shoot, sometimes take a bus ticket. Shoot, take a bus somewhere. <laughs> all right, get a bus ride that's going through some of these small cities or something or small towns. Do something. But just change it. Just travel. Just travel. Change, change your energy and stuff, right? So anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I was just thinking about something. But uh, anyway, right, that'll be it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.